Hey, wizards, guess what? It's Kieran Trocaller and Warwick really needs to talk to us. She'll help us figure out how to get you to Lake Nemui. Now, if you guys were with us last episode, guys, you know that we are here and we just broke um, Sister Constance out of the tower. And she's going to help us get to Lake Nemui, who we can talk to the Lady of the Lake so we can wage the war against the Pendragon and stop him. So let's talk to Sister Constance and I see what she's going to say. I to help the Pendragon or to give him any information about Gwendolyn. Thus, he had me locked up and forgotten. There you go. Queen Gwendolyn is rallying the Knights of the Silver Rose? There you Splendid. go. We should help by weakening the forces of the Wild Hunt. Defeat a hand or more of those Harned Brocket Guards. Of course, because that's what we do. So let's go ahead and defeat a handful or so of these Horned Brocket Cows. Looks like three fights, because we have to knock out six of them. Hey guys, I, very good to see everybody. It is another episode of the Myth Walkthrough, and this is Kieran Trocaller. Sorry about that quick jump in. I, I was getting ready to court, and suddenly, um, I guess, you know, Warwick just started talking to me. I really didn't have much to do. I must have accidentally hit my space bar or something. So I didn't want to miss anything he had to say, so I went ahead and started recording right away. I hope everybody is doing well today, because we have an excellent adventure waiting for us as we work our way through here because we are in the outer yard of the castle and we've got to find our way in which means we've got to talk to Nimue and that's what Constance is going to help us do. Very, very good. Hey guys, now if you're just joining, just joining the walkthrough, thank you so much. We have a hundred and this is like episode 120, right? I believe. Yeah, so we have been like going for about 120 episodes and I thank everybody who's taken some time to check them out. If you haven't watched some of the past episodes, you can catch some of the eps you can catch them all here on this playlist and I hope you guys enjoy it. By the way guys, just as a just as a quick word, there were two sections of Grizzleheim that did not get recorded due to mess up. So if you guys are wondering where those two Grizzleheim episode sections are, yeah, they're not there. They're never coming back. They're just gone. So I'm sorry about that. But otherwise, the myth walkthrough is pretty complete. I mean, you just can't fix everything, unfortunately. But I do appreciate everybody hanging out with us. So what are our goals today? Goal today is what we want is we want to hopefully get to the lake. The, our goal today is to talk to Nimue. I don't think we're going to get that far because there are a lot of quests between here and her. Yes, a lot of quests between here and her. But I think, you know, we can get a good portion of them done. And it's just a matter of us working our way through. Now, the thing that usually takes longest are going to be fights like this where we just got to plow through them. And that's that's what we're going to do. Now, good news, guys, is that streaming is happening every week. So if you like the content here on YouTube, you're enjoying the walkthroughs and um, such. I've got br I've got brand new content every week going on in my um going on on my walkthrough. I'm sorry, going on on my stream on Twitch.tv. Yes, can we say gaming is on Twitch.tv? I stream about four times a week. And I have a really good time with that. I would love to see you guys stop in. It's good to get to talk to you and get to know some of you guys a little bit more. Like a lot of you guys don't know that I'm a teacher. Yeah, I teach science, you know. Um, I teach eighth grade science in particular. I also teach programming as well. That's one of the classes I teach because I just don't teach science. So, you know, I got to do multiple things. I also run, I am also run two robotics teams as well. So that's what I do for my day job. And I have a good time. We talk all sorts of things, whether it's about my, about a little bit more about me to get to know more of me or a little bit more about you. Plus, we talk about Wizard 101, Pyro 101, even a lot of Minecraft, too, because Minecraft is one of my, is like my first favorite game, Wizard 101 my second, and Pyro 101 has got to be my third favorite game right now. Really enjoying all three of those games and having a lot of fun playing all those. And that's what we do. We talk about that. We talk about geek stuff. We talk about lots of, lots of different things. And I stream for three nights a week and then Sunday afternoons and it's a ton of fun. Hopefully we'll see you guys joining us on those streams there on twitch.tv at Kimmy Say Gaming. Now, um, big big news is happening, guys. Um, I just launched my new Patreon site and if you enjoy the content I make, um, please consider checking out my Patreon site because that's a great way where you can support the channel and support what I do. And what that'll do basically is if you join my Patreon site right now at level one, I only got one level in my Patreon site, so I'm not looking for higher, higher levels right now um, because I want to make sure that as I roll out more levels in my Patreon group that there's going to be something that people really um, feel like it's worth going up to those higher level of support. So right now, the first level support gets you instant access 
to my um, server right now. Okay. Now the it's a it's a it's a it's a small support there on the Patreon. But if you were to join that, you would get instant access and you would get to play with us and be part of the community on the Community Say Craft server. Um, every every season we invite we've been inviting new people to come play on the server. It's been a lot of fun. Some people play a long time. Some people don't. And um, what everybody's always asking is how can I support the server? You know because everybody knows that servers do cost money to keep running. And through the um, Patreon, that's a great way to help support. Plus, that also helps me, you know, some keep busy. And, and hopefully, you know, if, as we grow the channel and get more support, we can get to the point where maybe I can hire a video editor or even better, hire a... Um, a site administrator that can really help us grow the server, the Kimmy Say Craft server, and maybe some other games as well that we can host there. And that way I'll be able to give even more perks to those of you who are supporting the channel and everything. So, guys, if you haven't checked out my Patreon, please take a moment to check it out. And if you guys join it, you'd be absolutely awesome. Definitely going to do something this season on Kimmy Say Craft to, to um, point out and and... And a big thank you to all those who, are, who will be supporting me and anybody on, you know, who supports me on Patreon. So hopefully we'll get some of your support. But I just want to let you know, guys, that's a brand new thing. And this Saturday here um, in June, um, yeah, because in June, just just to let you know coming up, if it's already past um, that time, guys, don't worry about it. We are kicking off the new season of Kimmy Say Craft. So brand new server reset is happening this Saturday, uh, this Sunday, I'm sorry. And you still have time to join the Patreon and get access to the server for the big kickoff. And so if that's something you want to do, um, go ahead and check out my Patreon, sign up for it, and make sure... Um, I, you go ahead and lay, leave me your information so that I can get you whitelisted and get you ready to go. Okay, guys. So, very good. Two more of these guys, and we are almost done. Bam and bam. Very, very good. Also, one more piece of business as we jump into the action again, guys. Hey, if you are really really looking just for the easiest way to support the channel and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please hit that like button and hit that subscription button the subscription button one helps me grow to the point where youtube starts giving us a little bit more benefits and plus that subscription also helps us to grow and so to the point where we can actually start or um start being able to earn some money from ads and stuff your battle skills are exemplary. I've not seen anyone fight so well since Artorius's last days. Good times, good times. We need to strike another blow. If we can scatter their steeds from the stables, we'll give our troops a major advantage. I can tell Warwick has an idea by the gleam in his eye. Okay, Warwick. Do I look like I just had a great idea to get the steeds out of the stable without harming them? Okay. The king had a magic hunting horn that would compel the White Hearts to follow Excellent. the music. I think it might still be in the Broken Tower, uh, though a hideous black cap resides within. Can you get it? I guess so. Looks like we've got a black cap to defeat. Well, anyways, guys, if you really want to support the channel, but in a, in a way that doesn't cost you anything, hit that subscribe button, okay? That really helps out the channel. And every time you like a video, it helps us a ton with YouTube algorithm, which helps this channel to grow. So if you guys have a moment to do that, just hit that like button. Hit that subscribe, guys. Really, really, really easy way to show your support. Fantastic. Okay, guys, now into the Broken Tower. to steal my treasures. Yeah, I'm going to chew you up and spit you out. So he thinks so. Let's go ahead and take down this hawker. Okay. The Philosotheus Hawker or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and dump a few of these. I really do need to clean my deck up. It's getting a little bit unwieldy. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our usual strategy. We're going to blade up, and gosh, we might need to do a hit here pretty quick, just for the simple fact that that black cap's just going to keep swinging at us if we don't. Um, yeah, let's get another blade up. Let's make it at least a big hit, right? Yeah, we need to get rid of that black cap before he does something silly like a serpent or us or something. Ooh. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Yes. Okay. 
Oh! Well, it looks like he's just going to stun us. Okay, we just got to kill him. Just got to get rid of him. Done playing the games. Yep. Well, at least we'll get enough pips. Power pips, right? Right, right. Do we get power pips? Ding, ding. Nice. Let's just do it. Colossal. And Orthrus. That will... That will at least get the, um... Get the get the storm guy out of the way. Haha, -ha, it's the tiny guy. You know, I've been playing a lot of Pyro 101 lately, and that's Batman Bat McMasterson. He's a little bat guy like that. He's hilarious. Love it. Love it, love it. Guys, if you haven't checked out Pyro 101 and you're a big Wizard 101 fan, you should check out Pyro 101 because it plays a little bit differently. So, I mean, it's still a fun game, but it's still in the spiral, so you still get all that great lore from the spiral as well. So if you haven't considered checking out Pyro 101, you really should. It is a fun game. It's not hard to learn, and uh, but, I mean, a lot of the mechanics as far as, you know, numbers and stuff like that are still very similar to Wizard 101, so you wouldn't be very lost in it at all. You just got to, like, start translating some of the new things over but um just that was that was just a friendly minor because i'm really i've been playing pirate 101 now for a few months first time and, I, and i'm like been playing wizard 101 for over 10 years you know so i mean to tell you that i've just started pirate 101 i'm really late to the party but you know what i'm glad i found it because it is a heck of a fun game guys so if you haven't um checked out pirate 101 you should definitely take a moment to check that game out i think it's worth a play Okay, Flacetheus. Let's get this guy knocked out of here so that we can go ahead and get this horn, get the hearts out of the way, because we want to get all the steeds out of the way. That be that way when we go ahead and um, set a fire to something, you know, we're not burning down any any um, horses, yeah, or steeds. I guess they're hearts. Yeah, they're hearts. They're not horses. They're like, you know, big, um, uh, big deer type things. Yep, yeah, definitely big deers. Okay. Woo. That hurt. Okay, I, I can't play around anymore. It's It's time. Where is um, Ninja Pigs? Yep. Where is the Ninja Pigs? Oh, perfect timing, Ninja Pigs. Now, can I do this with just two blades? Can I? Can I? Can I? Nope. Let's go ahead and let's get Berserk. Or actually, is it Berserk? Yeah, it's Berserk. It's not Frenzy, it's Berserk. Let's get Berserk coming. Um, that's going to give us an extra 30, and we're just going to hit him. We're going to hit him hard. We're going to hit him now. Good, good. We need to hit him before he hit us, because he was going to, you know, damage. Yeah, bad things, yeah. Okay, pigs, come through for us. Put a lot of trust in you here. Don't let us down. Fantastic, the pigs came in and did their job. Ah, that left a bad taste I can't seem to get rid of. Okay, that's I like that. <laughs> Left a bad taste I can't get rid of. Sorry, that just that just struck me as hilarious. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't didn't mean to laugh so loud. That was just that was funny. That, that was a bad taste I can't get rid of. I love it. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love the dialogue they have in this game sometimes. Okay, we are back out in the big wild blue yonder. Let's go talk to Warwick. By the way, guys, don't wander in the middle of that thing because it'll start you a PvP battle. Yep, so unless you want to do some PvP and you stay away at that center. Okay, Warwick, talk to us. You got it! I hope to be as brave as you when I get bigger. I think you're tall as I am already. If you take the hunting horn into the stable and play it, you can tell the Whitehearts to hide in the forest. Sounds good to me. There we go. I see some Whitehearts right you there. Take a deep breath and raise the horn to your lips. It sounds a great call, infused with power and grace. As the last note fades, the white hearts magically vanish. You're pretty sure you sent them to the forest near Caliburn. Well, yeah, hopefully that went well. Let's talk to work again. I could hear you from here. Now the Knights of the Silver Rose will be able to ride into battle against the Horned Ones. That's good news. Tell Sister Constance what a great deed we accomplished. Great deed. Bravo, Knight. Now it's time to get serious. Okay. The gate to Lake Namui is closely guarded. We must cause a big distraction. Sounds good. Go into the castle library and retrieve the Book of Armaments. I must consult it. The Book of Armaments. Now, guys, if you are not a Monty Python fan, then um, 
You, you probably just missed that. Yeah, you probably just missed that. Monty Python. I don't know if Monty Python is a classic British comedy comedy series, and they made this movie called Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I think. Yeah, and um, it's absolutely fabulous. So if you didn't catch the reference of the Book of Armaments, you need to go ahead. You need to go ahead and watch Monty. Okay, the Book if you're of old Armaments enough. This is a heavy tome detailing a history of weapons and warfare. It has lots of pictures of sharp things. It's it's a uh, it's it's pretty awesome stuff. Especially, uh, well, you got to be old enough to catch humor, but it's actually totally awesome. Especially from a science teacher standpoint, I actually use a clip of that to help teach the scientific method in class. Believe it or not, yes, I use Monty Python to help teach the scientific method because Monty Python is is incredible stuff. Um, it does take a little getting used to listening them talk, listening them talk in their accents, but it's pretty awesome. Chapter two, verses <laughs> oh, nine here we go. to twenty-one. And Sister Attila raised the pomegranate up on high, saying, O oh, sacred spiral, bless this pomegranate, that with it thou mayest blow thy enemies to tiny bits in thy mercy. Oh my goodness, the Monty Sister Python is thick. Attila? No, oh, it's not a common name for a girl. Oh, why do you ask? We need to get a sacred pomegranate from the royal garden, but the gates are locked fast. Okay, what do we need there to do? There is another, still loyal to Gwendolyn and King Artorius. Find Squire Billy. He'll know how to get into the royal garden. Sounds good to me, because we need to get a pomegranate, a royal, a, a royal pomegranate. Yeah. Why a pomegranate? Yeah, so apparently they're explosive. Okay, I see Squire Billy. Let's talk to Squire Billy. Squire Billy, talk to me. Life isn't easy from the Queen's side. I feel like I'm down in the hole, but some emotions are hard <laughs> to hide. Can I yes. help you? Yes, yes you can, Squire Billy. The key to the Royal Garden is held by the Great Horned Knight, one of the Pendragon's champions. He's in the Sworn Tower. Excellent. Okay. Into the dark. Well, let's go ahead and fight another one of the Pendragon's Knights. Yep, because that's that's what we gotta do. Apparently we have to beat everybody here in the guard. Very good. Up, up, and in. Let's do this thing. Now, I wonder why those are lit up there. Did I already go down to that? No, I haven't done that one yet. Why is that lit up? Huh. Another, another dungeon I haven't been in? Inter interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Well, should be loading any time. So there we go. Pleasure to welcome you to the Sworn Tower, Knight of the Weird. By the Horned Crown, I swear I will honor you by mounting your head upon the wall there. Well, that's nice. Very good. Very good. I will. I will live on in perpetuity if I lose with my head mounted to a wall. That's kind of kind of rough. Yeah. Kind of rough. Okay. Orthrus. Head popped open right away. That is awesome. Let's go put some blades up. And so we are in it to win it here against, um, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, jeez. Well, at least it's not a negative 90 anymore. That used to be a negative 90 before they changed that particular spell, but my goodness, it's still... Still hurts to get hit by it. I hate getting genied like that. Whew. They came out swinging. That is over a third of my HP right away. Wow. Okay, guys, we got we got to come back. We got to come back forcefully here. Um, I say let's go ahead and get rid of that stupid thing. I mean the uh, yeah 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 the weakness, the negative forty five weakness. Uh, it's terrible. Yeah, that doesn't help you against... I mean, Pierce doesn't help you against those weaknesses. You just... You gotta use Pierce... You can only use Pierce against the shields. Okay, got rid of that. That's fine. That's that's why I keep a wand hit in there to get rid of those things. Okay. Great Horn Knight, and I think we got enough for an Orthrus. I think we should... Be able to get rid of the Great Horn Knight? Yeah, we should. If we if we can get a critical, we'll get rid of his minion, and then that'll make, a, make the fight a little bit easier to carry on with. Oh my goodness, is he gonna hit me with a... Yep, here we go, here we go, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, the Fire Oni, or, um, what do they call that guy? Uh, the Elephant, yes, the Elephant. Ooh, those 800-point hits are really getting old. Okay, swing hit. 
Very nice, very nice. Okay. Orthrus, we need a critical. Can you do the critical? Yes, he can do the critical. And... Hopefully it's enough to get... A yes. Very, very good. Okay. Ah, at least we don't have to defend against twice. So we got to think about how we're going to do this. We're not going to need the shift. Oh, yeah, we'll probably not. Probably not need the shift. But we are going to need the faint. Okay. The good news is he's going to need a heck of a lot more pips to hit us with that, um... With that other spell again. But if we can get a couple blades up, two or three blades which is what we're going to do. Um, we can definitely... Yeah, he's not going to put a shield up. Let's go ahead and get the myth... Let's get the blades up, guys. Because we have got to hit him with um, Ninja Pigs ASAP. Nice thing about Ninja Pigs, it doesn't take as many pips as some of his bigger spells. So hopefully we can get this um, going really quick here. There we go. Myth Blade. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Well, hmm. That's going to hurt. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. The good news is he's he only has like three. He only has two pips. Hey, that's that's um, better news than I thought. Okay, we need to go ahead and do Berserk, and then we'll strike after this round. Hopefully Berserk doesn't kill me. Yep. Well, it can. Yeah. I mean, if you... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it can. Okay. Guys, ninja pigs. We need the... We need the... We need the hit. Good. Good, 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 good. This is our chance. Let's roll with it, guys. Very, very nice. And with that, hopefully we'll see the end of him. Because I don't know if I can last any more rounds with him. Very good. Uh, you fought well, knight. You might even reach the pen dragon before he devours you. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, we got a hollow knight, guys. Check it out. We got a hollow knight. Very nice. But he's a nice knight. Dang it. Why can't we get the myth one? Oh, well. Life goes on. Right, right. We'll just go, we'll put him in our collection of of um, pets that we probably will never do anything with. Okay, here we go. So, hey, is there anything hiding in here like a bird or a scroll or something? No, I don't think there's anything in here. Usually they're pretty obvious, guys, but it's always good to check. Okay, so as we continue on, let's go talk to Squire Billy and give him the good news that so we went ahead and got rid of that guy. Very good. I'm glad that nobody notices somebody's riding around here in a wheelie thing. You know, it's a little inconspicuous, but what you, you gonna do? You did it! Aha! Head into the Royal Garden. You'll have to distract the Trendkill Pantera that prowl the garden. Okay. When you can, grab a pomegranate and take it back to Sister Constance. Excellent. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna go sneak into the garden and grab a pomegranate. Oh, yeah. We're not going to the practice arena. I know what happens there. Okay. Yes. Ooh, okay. Royal Garden must be up this way. Hit a wall. Ah, there it is. It's open. Defeat Treadkill. Oh, those are kind of cool. Okay, let's 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 defeat some Treadkill Panteras. I like the coloring. A little bit different than what we've seen. I like that green on the gray. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get what we don't need out of the way, and let's throw the wielder up there. Ah, uh, yes. Storm. Like they would not be Storm. Of course they're going to be Storm. They're always Storm. Very, very good, guys. So we are definitely working through this. I guess we're not going to get to Nimue this episode, but we are definitely making some progress. I always, I always underestimate how many quests we have to get through to actually get to where we're going. 
So that's 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 unfortunately one of the challenges I have sometimes is trying to guess exactly how many quests left because I'm actually not looking at the quest list. In fact, that's a really good point of view, guys. If you want to keep up with how many quests are in there and and how many you've done so far, um, there's a really great there's there's some different quest lists you can find out there. The Final Bastion site is a really great site and it gives you a, the full quest list, or should we say the full uh, main quest line quest list for each one of the different worlds, and that's a really great way to know exactly where we are, how many quests we've done, how many more quests we have to do. In fact, if you would like me to start mentioning how many quests, I, I wonder if I used to do that. I forget. It's been so long through the walkthrough, I forget that some of the things I've done and some of the things I haven't because we're like at 120 episodes, right? But hey, if you guys would like to me to uh, mention exactly how many quests we have left in a particular world as we count down and go through each of our quests at the beginning of the episode and the end of the episode, go ahead and throw that in comments if you'd like that information because I can go ahead and start adding that to our videos and it might be might be good. Like, you know, it might, might help you out to understand that there's 140 quests in this world and we're on quest number 67 or so um, because that information is available to us. I just hadn't thought about actually putting that into the walkthrough. Or if I did, I forgot I was doing it and I just haven't done it. So maybe I should just start doing it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think? Would that be something cool? Something useful? Okay. So we need this pomegranate, but you know what? I want to get a picture of this pomegranate tree. There we go. Let's get a picture of the pop of pomegranate and let's grab ourselves a pomegranate. Very good. Let's go talk to Sister Constance and see what she wants us to do with the, um, with the, is it a holy pomegranate or is it just a royal pomegranate? I forget, you know. Okay, let's talk. The blessed pomegranate, blessed of pomegranate. Avalon. We'll use it to blow up the armory and send the guards running. Excellent. First shalt thou raise the blessed pomegranate, <laughs> then shalt thou count to three. No more, no less. Three shall be the number thou shalt count, and the number of the counting shalt be three. <laughs> Once the number three be reached, lobbest thy blessed pomegranate of Avalon towards thou foe, the armory, who shall snuff it. Well, good. Before we leave, guys, let's go ahead and actually um, throw the blessed pomegranate, okay, over at the stables. I think they're over here, as I recall. You wind up to throw, and on the count of three, you hurl the pomegranate through the window. Quite the explosion from a piece of fruit. Look, <laughs> yeah. the guards have fled. And there we go, guys. We have thrown the blessed pomegranate. Fantastic. Well, everybody, everybody's been hanging out with me. You guys are awesome. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I've had an excellent time. Now, um... So, yeah, leave, leave, um, if you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, guys, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. And also, check out the Patreon if you want to continue to support the channel and help me out and get some perks as well. So, guys, this is Kieran Trollcaller. Thank you so much for hanging out for the Myth Walkthrough. I hope you guys have an excellent evening, an excellent day, or an excellent morning wherever you're at. And look at that. we got a trend kill Pantera in our pet tome. That's pretty awesome. Well, anyways, this is Kieran Trollcaller. Have a great day, day guys. Have a good evening. Ah, this is Kimmy Say for the Myth Walkthrough. Bye-bye.